Welcome back to my channel, guys. My name is Raggyrog, and today I am bringing you even more Pokemon Fusion Generator 2! So, last episode, I think we did edgy Pokemon, right? We put... we fused random Pokemon together to see if we couldn't make, like, the edgiest edgelord Pokemon of all time. So, and that was cool, and before that we did cute Pokemon. We've done a few themes, now I'm thinking today we are going to go with something a little more interesting. We are going to try and create a Pokemon that looks like a real Pokemon. So, pretty straightforward, but what I'm getting at is that in the case of a lot of fusions on this generator, you end up with a Pokemon that l just, it looks like a fusion. It just looks like, well, in the, if we'll go with Dusclops and Tentacool here. Tentaclops, okay. So Tentaclops looks like a tentacle crossed with a Dusclops. He does not look like he could be his own unique Pokemon. So what we are looking for today is to create the Pokemon that don't look really like what they're based on, and they look like they could just be their own unique Pokemon, just completely independent from all else. So we're going to do a bit of thinking about this one, and we're going to try our best. So I've already got an idea. I'm thinking... Because Machoke has just like kind of like a masculine man's body, like a buff dude body. And I feel like that could be used pretty decently to translate into, well, anything. So we might actually leave Machoke here for a little bit. We're going to do Dragalgi. Okay. I don't know what's going to give him Machoke's body. I might have to do the swap. Um, okay. That, first of all, is disgusting. <laughs> and it doesn't look like anything. We'll do the swap. I feel like Dragalgi might have been a poor choice. You know what? Boom! There we go. Malgi. This, okay, it's only a little similar looking to Dragalgi, but it actually looks like it could be its own unique Pokemon. So I'm, alright, right out of the gate, I'm pretty happy with that. We are going to do the swap, put Machoke back into that other slot. So we're off to a good start here. And now we are going to do... Alright, I know. So we're going to put Psyduck's head on Machoke's body. Psychoke. Okay. Contrary to what I hoped, this actually does just look like a Psyduck's head on a Machoke's body. So, not going well there. But we are onto something for sure. So, next on this list... Okay. I'm thinking... Because I feel like they got to have, like, limbs. they got to have, like, appendages that kind of, like, emanate off their body. I don't know. I'm having, like, a weird time trying to rationalize this in my head. We're gonna do... Chestnut, okay? We're gonna use Chestnut, but we're gonna cross him with Delphox. We're gonna see how that looks. That's disgusting. But, if you kind of squint and get around that, it does kind of look like its own unique thing. It helped, like, okay... It's still got, like, the bushy tail, but from where I'm standing, it kind of looks more like it could just be, like, a big lizard tail. So I actually really like that. That's not too bad. It's not my favorite, but it does look like it could be its own Pokemon. We'll do the swap. We'll do the swap for sure. And no, that's obviously just Delphox's body with a different color scheme. So not overly surprised there. Who else is there? Who else? What if we do, like, a bird, right? We do, like, Noctowl, okay? Oh, I know. Okay, we're gonna do... We're gonna fuse two of the two of the early birds, right? We're gonna mix Noctowl with Talonflame, right? Because, like, a bird is just a bird. So, it shouldn't be too obvious that we're actually just recycling one early bird's body with another. Uh, you know what? I have no idea. I actually hate this because he's got like four wings. You can see that he's got his Noctowl wings tucked in. This is just a a bad looking fusion. And that's another thing that warrants like a a bad fusion, right? It's like sometimes you have two Pokemon fuse that looks that they just clearly don't make a good fusion together, but then sometimes you have them and it's like the the poses just don't fuse well. So it's like it's a losing battle. We need it to look that looks horrible. We need it to look cohesive and sensical. Okay. 
So the early birds are not the way. Not at all. We're going to use giant snake body with superior. And we're going to mix it with sharp eater. This should actually look pretty good, I reckon. Wow. Okay. Okay. That looks really cool. But it's obviously just the body of superior. Unfortunately. I also don't like how like he's got like these weird fins just kind of Oh no, it's like at the end of his tail. So that's a good touch too. It's just Okay. All right, we'll do the swap. I don't think it's going to look any better. No. Sir Peter. It's a cool name. I'll give you that one. We're going to do slacking, but we're going to fuse slacking with... What would happen if we used, like, Aegis Slash? <laughs> what? Aegis King. Oh, I don't know where this guy starts and finishes. That looks terrible. Bad call. Bad call, me. Um, Slash Slash. How about that? I, that's a fun name. I didn't even plan that. Uh, but that's obviously just the body of Agislash. Okay. We'll get one. We're, I feel like we're going to just nail this. We're going to get like the perfect, perfect Pokemon. So we've got Furfury. We're going to mix Furfury with Dino. Uh, Defru. It just looks like a hairy dino. <laughs> fuse. We'll fuse the swap. We'll swap the fuse. Okay. That is interesting. It's kind of hard to make out, like, its face. Like, where does its face start and finish? But I, I think we're kind of onto something there. I'm going to keep dino in that slot. Or do I want to keep furfuru in that slot? No, I'm going to do dino in that slot. But we're going to swap him with Emolga. Okay. Going backwards a little bit, because this is clearly just Emolga's face. It's not, Maybe it's because I'm not as familiar with the Pokemon, but Dino's body just kind of has me, like, stumped, right? Like, if you didn't tell me that was Dino, I wouldn't know. We're going to do Scrafty. We're going to mix him with Girder. That looks terrible. Uh, Skudur. <laughs> this guy wins the competition for best name. Skudur. Okay, we're going to do a couple more. We're going to do Licky Licky. We're going to do like two or three more with the swaps or not. And we're going to see what if we can't just nail this. I think we've got maybe one or two that look like they could actually be real Pokemon. So I'm hoping that we just nail it right here and now. Uh, okay. Garlicky. That's a fun name, but he is blocking his face with his wing. Which is unfortunate, because it's meant to, because that's the direction that Licky Licky is holding his hands. Alright, we do the swap. We'll get Garchomp's body. Okay. That's fun, but it's clearly just Garchomp's body. Okay. Couple more. A couple more. Miss Mag Miss Magius. Miss Magius. I don't know how to say her name. No one knows how to say her name. I'm sorry. What if we do <gasps> Relicanth? That face on that body. Or vice versa. Let's try. Wow. Okay. Okay, so this is kind of clearly Relicanth's face, but his defining feature is kind of like his whole body. And even though this is obviously Miss Magius's body, it kind of works. Like it kind of like it's th this would make like an acceptable like regional form for Miss Magius, I reckon. Like like this is like an old woman face or something. Like I'm I'm embellishing a little bit, but that's not too bad. Th if this were presented to me as a brand new Pokemon, I would obviously be skeptical, but I feel like, like, if I were an artist and I had to draw a Pokemon based on this, I could make something really cool and unique, for sure. We'll do the swap. 
you know what, Miss McCanth, that's not too bad, because, like, the hat almost kind of just looks like it could be some kind of weird shape on, like, a deep ocean fish. And her, like, little dress thingy that she's got kind of morphs decently into what looks like a tail fin. This is... Alright. Relicanth and Miss Magius in both forms, they're not perfect, but these make decently realistic Pokemon. 100%. Okay. We're gonna do one more. We're gonna do one more, and then that is it. And we'll call it quits there. So we're gonna pick some good ones. We're gonna go with Lanoon. And we're going to pair Lanoon with Miltank. We're going to pair Lanoon with Miltank. I have no idea how this is going to look. We will do the swap, but first and foremost, let's see. Milnoon. Okay. Except for, like, the tail? You would have no way of knowing that that is Miltank with Lanoon. It's not the best looking Pokemon, but it, it is, it definitely looks unique. It almost looks like a cat. It looks like a pig cat, which is weird because it's, it's, it's neither of those things. <laughs> we'll do the swap. We'll see if this isn't just like mind blowing. Latank. Okay. Okay. Latank is obviously just Miltank fused with something that had the horrible misfortune to cross paths with it. But there you go! Okay, that was our attempt today at making a realistic Pokemon using Pokemon Fusion Generator. If you have other ideas for what you'd like to see, whether it be new subjects to try and nail on the generator, or just whole new different videos completely, then please let me know in the comments section down below. In any case, if you did enjoy this video, then please give it a like and subscribe to the channel. And uh, yeah, thank you very much for watching today, guys. Make sure to hit that bell icon on your way out, and then you get instant updates and all that good stuff. And yeah, thank you, thank you for watching. I'll see you next time.